Good morning, everybody. How are you guys doing today? Hopefully, fantastic. Uh, per usual, dogs freaking out as soon as I start picking up the camera. Um, anyways, today we are um, we're going to wrap up uh, Stanton Rich's truck, which we have outside. It's already done, but it was kind of getting late. I need to top off the coolant real quick. And look at this thing. It's a nice truck to have in the driveway, actually. You know. Uh, we're going to check for leaks real quick. We are going to top the coolant off. We're going to go over some injector testing. And then we're going to wait for him to come back with my truck. So, And as you guys can see, I, I washed the truck. And he's got a small little oil spot, which we're going to be taking care of soon. But there's no more leaks underneath the truck. Everything's looking good. So we'll get into this thing, top the coolant off. <laughs> we're going to... Like I said, we're gonna check the injectors. So I'm gonna go, my laptop's charging right now. We're gonna grab it, check all the injectors and everything. And uh, just kind of give him a full rundown on the truck when he gets here with my truck, which he fully detailed. So we'll see how it is. And if it's looking good, you guys know what to do. Hit him up for some work, get your truck detailed, whatever you gotta do. And uh, yeah, we'll get you on your way. So we're working together on some things. You know, he's got the patience to detail, I don't. Uh, Detail's not really my thing, but man, Whew. there it is. So, anyways, top the cooling off, check everything over, and uh, keep checking this truck. Just last few last minute things before he gets here and has to pick the truck up and take it back. But uh, we also fixed his boost line, which is this line right here. I don't know how well the camera's gonna focus here. Um, this little plastic line it had broken off at the the port where it's plugged so fix that all up guys boost gates working all that good stuff you know just trying to give him a quick little you know quick little checkup on the truck make sure everything's working good so check we'll check the coolant hose too oh yeah that's that's solid you know it's not solid because that would be bad but the truck's in good shape and uh no pressure in the coolant system it sucked everything through on the drive home last night it's kind of hard to bleed these trucks at idle so after driving it we got everything set up but we'll get into it sorry you're probably looking right at the sun can't really see me but we're gonna top it off and uh yeah should be should be ready to go we'll let idle for a little bit check all the balance rates and everything and let them have it Alrighty guys, so the truck's running. I already have my balance page set set up pretty much. But what we're gonna do is uh, we got everything connected to the truck. I'm gonna give you a quick rundown on how to check your balance rates using EFI. This is the V7.5 scan tool. Uh, so when you open it up, you're gonna wanna go ahead and find the read. So up here in the top left corner, you can see it's up here, it says read. You're gonna find select the right ECU. So we have a Somewhere around here. We have an LBZ Duramax, so E35A, automatic transmission, okay. That's gonna connect to it. And when you get to this point, you're gonna go to your PIDs, which is, I hope you guys can really see, sorry. It's kinda hard to, to maneuver this thing. But right here, this is validating everything right now, but basically, once you connect to it, Da, 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 da. Come on, thing. Anyways, you want to pull up your PID selection here. And as you can see, I have all the balancing rates, I have the airflow, I have boost pressure, desired fuel rail, desired idle speed, engine RPM, and fuel rail pressure. So, what this is going to show us, it's validating everything right now over here. But when we go back to data, you're gonna come down here. We're not gonna record, so you can just hit the yellow one. Start monitoring real-time data. And as you can see, everything looks pretty solid, actually. All these rates are within, they're all within 2.5. Uh, desired fuel rail pressure is 43.51. We're at bouncing right around. 43.50, you know, up to 42, down to 42.90, up to, you know, 44. So 
everything's looking pretty solid. We're actually gonna go ahead and put it in drive and check the balance rates. So that should make them spike up a little bit. You want plus or minus six on this and they're still looking pretty solid. These ones jumped up a little bit, but nothing that's really concerning. Cylinder five's getting up there slowly. Um, cylinder eight too. This truck sounds like it has an injector tick though when you drive it. Um, I don't know if one's just kind of a noisy injector or what, but we're gonna dig into it later. But for right now, I know balance rates aren't the end all be all of everything, so you can't really base it off that without doing an injector test. But at idle, it sounds fine, but under slight like acceleration, Even at idle, it's revving it up. It doesn't sound bad, but while driving it, it's got a little bit of a tick to it. So probably, uh, I, I don't know if I'd sweat it right now. We're gonna take a look at some other things and see if we can't get it figured out. But as far as everything's looking on here, the idle's good. It's not bouncing a whole lot. So fuel pressure regulator's good. Your fuel pressure's good. Your balance rates are pretty good. So this truck's looking pretty stout. The coolant's topped off. We're gonna let it get up to temp, but as far as that, we're just gonna wait for him to get back and see the truck, so. Should be fairly, you know, fairly easy morning for us, hopefully. All right, all right, bye. What's up, son? How you doing? Ooh, look at this thing. We need to do a few little touch-ups, I think. But... It's all good, bro. It's looking fresh, though. I think it's the first time I've had clean wheels in I don't know how long, bro. <laughs> the bumper, I couldn't save the bumper. Hey, bro, there's no saving that thing. <laughs> I, I know that, bro. I know that. There's no saving that thing. It's had a rough life, but. With the truck, I kind of saved the truck. The truck doesn't yeah, look too bad now. It looks way better. So this thing totally needs a paint job anyways. The clear coat's like trashed on it. So I told him, I was like, bro, do what you can. I'm not sweating it. You know, I made that very clear, but it's looking way better. So, <laughs> In normal fashion, we took the truck for a little cruise just to, uh, to go get some Dunkin' Donuts and uh, I brought Coyote with me. And luckily enough, she got a little treat. She got a little donut hole and she was stoked. I was trying to film it, but she uh, she ate it before we even got, I could pick the camera up, you know, so. But anyways, I don't really think we have much more planned for today. I got my coffee, so. I'm gonna take a chill to the day today. I've been busting my butt since I've, you know, just for the last week or so. I need to take care of some paperwork and stuff, so. Just wanted to show you guys running the injectors through and kind of finishing up Rich's truck. Um, we're back in the Duramax here and let's see what we can do. Uh... Probably pissing people off, you know, but it's cool. Anyways, we are going to um, go ahead home and wrap it up for today on this video a little short one just showing you some balance rates and stuff um, but yeah everything's running good the truck's clean the dog's happy she's just chilling um, if you guys are new here please go ahead and smash that subscribe button we will help you with your Duramax needs and uh, we're gonna get on it here trains is still a little uh, little messed up but uh, anyways I hope you guys enjoyed the video uh, drop a thumbs up if you did yeah, I appreciate it if you guys do thank you to all the new people I know we are at like 8400 now or something sorry I got the windows down for the dog we're at like 8400 subscribers we're growing slowly trying to bring you guys content every other day just about so make sure you're paying attention for the new videos to come out but uh, that's gonna do it for today guys if uh, yeah yeah. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. But we'll catch you guys later. I'm out. Say bye, Coyote. Okay?